Hello guys and welcome to week 11 my project. Uh, so uh, for before I start off I just wanted to let people know that there is a new free product that you could use with Unreal and that is uh, whatever this name is. And what you could do is it takes uh, real life images and makes them of uh, the world uh, pretty much if you have good internet speed and uh, really good RAM you could load this project up and get like maps of realistic areas that just takes a longitude and a latitude which you could pull off Google you can get from Toronto Peterborough or um, runs any like anywhere you want and it'll be like a top-down actual satellite view of that and when you zoom down into it you could actually see the buildings pop up and they'll load as if you're like right down to the street view um, right in Unreal um, Later on, I think if they get really good speeds and stuff like that, you could use it probably for a car game. Like, to, but uh, sometimes the certain certain graphics, like uh, the trees and stuff, uh, look like they're not they're not loading too good. But you probably wouldn't notice if you're doing something fast. Another thing that'd be good for is, uh, simulators, but for me, I'd probably just use it to like get real accurate visions of certain towns or something that I might be doing something of like uh, say if I was doing a zombie the, my zombie game and I wanted a real life like like exactly the way of the town that I live in I could do that and I could have everything done by just taking a picture of that and uh, going back to it for reference right get a nice good top-down view picture of it and going back and forth through reference to make sure I get all the telephone poles and everything inaccurately uh, the other thing I want to talk about, people were talking about how I'm doing for time frame. I, I told them originally that I wanted to get this done in six months, and that my main time frame was, well, three months for the beginning town and all my systems. Uh, month four would be the factory and the train yard. Month five would be the suburb and park, and month six would be the city. The reason why the rest of the stuff will come in so quickly, um, hopefully, is because it's literally just drag and drop of decorating. Because if all the systems are in place and stuff like that, it should be just drag and drop and decorating. Uh, speaking of drag and drop and decorating, I have started trying to finish up decorating the, the first town. So I got those roads in like I was talking, the better looking roads I really think. Uh, swapped out the apartments to the the actual interactive apartments uh, that I wanted to use so all the doors will be interactive I'm gonna build these um, the balconies on here uh, and the exterior windows these are level streaming volumes so each one of the floors um, will load and unload uh, you can see that I've completed the four buildings here so each level will unload and load um, as I get two of them so when I'm out here you'll see no windows and stuff because I'm gonna have to have exterior windows for when, uh, because the windows are gonna have blueprints, so you could smash, shoot the windows, and they'll shatter or whatever. Uh, so I didn't want blueprints when you're not in the house, per se. So you're gonna have regular static meshes that will um, have level of details or LODs. So as you get far away, you know, I mean, uh, it'll take way less uh, memory and stuff like that on your on your game. I also been working with the resource system. Got some trees in there. And I've been working with the AI spawners. So right now, this one just spawns once I join the world. And this one, as you can see, the big lines here. Uh, this one will, is activated when I get close. Um, and uh, again, so this is a wave spawner, volume spawner, and, and an individual place spawner that I've been trying to work at and test. Um, so yeah, uh, last thing I wanted to make sure make sure I mentioned in the video before she uh, kills me. Um, is my fiance we really wanted to take part in the game and I showed her that I will get into the main project something that she wanted to work on and so what she did work on was a baby's room and so she called it Titus's room after our son Titus and she worked on a nice baby room here that we could access here and then she also worked on uh, a toddler's room she for our, after our son Dante and uh, again she has a she made her her own little track because these are all individual pieces she actually built that little track herself which so she's having some fun in the unreal engine and putting everything together and um, yeah uh, it also adds some randomization to the room remember originally in this in this prefab this was the room I had in the prefab so she changed it up a bit by adding a room for the two lower apartments so as long as you keep doing that keep adding new rooms and stuff like that this building I was doing tests with uh, individual meshes and so that's why it's all wonky because um, I'm trying to get everything custom 
because um, some of these buildings here are all one solid mesh with if different in, in, uh, materials and sure that's faster sometimes and it could be better for loading but it doesn't give you really flexibility on making things really unique so I'm just trying to test which is better maybe I'll get something like this temporarily and then make a full cost of building later but I didn't want to spend too much time because I do not want to fall too far behind because again I wanted I was hoping to get the first town done in the first three months and then start working on the factory and stuff speaking of that I did start getting a head start getting myself set up with that so I did build the road going over to the factory and I did start placing in the exterior of the factory there's gonna be a lot of interiors I still have to do um, as you can see all the buildings would be empty right now so I have to fill up the buildings and stuff but I did want to get the basic exterior you know looking pretty good like an actual good old factory there um, but yeah let's uh, hit play and take a walk around uh, shoot a couple zombies again I, I really like uh, being able to shoot off the arms I think that's gonna add a lot of fun gameplay and as you can see there um, when I got close to the building that loads unloads but again uh, I'm gonna have exterior windows that you won't notice so when you get to the building it's gonna unload the exterior windows and load the windows uh, in small chunks depending on how close you are right uh, and again this is gonna be the proximity zombies over here right so when I get close boom the proximity zombies load in you shoot off their legs that's always fun I don't think that ever gets old. Shoot off their arms. Oh, I caught shot his head. There you go. Let's make it up. He's still trying. He's still trying to get me. Oh, now you're dead. Now you got no limbs. He's limp. Alright. Oh, yeah. I got to show off the uh, the trees. Right, right, right. I'm going to get my axe here and show off the, some of the resource gathering with the new trees that I put in. So we'll pick up the axe, we'll pick up a uh, bag, ammo, I don't really have anything to kill because I only have the specific zombies in right now. But uh, yeah, let's put the axe on. And as you chop the tree, you collect wood. And it's a random amount of wood right now. And then after you collect all the wood that the tree has, the tree falls over. Yeah. So again, most of the systems I feel like in place now from gathering to shooting, headshots, zombie killing, most of the systems I, I feel like are, are pretty much in place. Like even driving the car. Maybe. Um, again, I was saying last time, got some rain in there, uh, snow. Uh, different weather but yeah uh, that's the what I added this week I hope you guys enjoy and uh, looking forward to your feedback and uh, you guys have a good one bye